that face. <laughs> I just love popcorn so much. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to this LA vlog. If you're new here, I'm Francis. This is Rio. Stuart's upstairs. And today we are in LA and it's 4 a.m. But this is our third day in LA. And obviously with the jet lag, we've been trying to move him slowly to LA time. And he's getting better because the first morning was 1 a.m. Then it was 2.30 and now it's 4. It's 4.30 actually. So we're doing great, which we're adjusting, which is really important because we're here for 20 days. We want to adjust the nights to sleep at night and, and be awake in the day. Although I really love getting up super early. There's something so magical about it. Um, but four o'clock is, 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 is a good early. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to take you along on a little tour of LA. We've got plans, but we're unsure because the weather actually hasn't been that great. Um, we go to Maui then tomorrow, which is really exciting because the weather is much better, but the LA weather hasn't been the best. I think we've brought the rain from the UK, so, but you know what, it's still so fun to be away. So we're going to do, hopefully, lots of fun things today in LA. Coco Melon? It's so funny, when you watch this stuff, you're like, how could anyone like this? And it goes on, and he literally smiles. <laughs> it's like they know exa the exact thing to a baby's heart. <laughs> Love me. Some fruit. Daddy's having his greens, which he's gonna get all over his mouth. And you're having your banana and strawberry. Yep. <laughs> Watching 10 little duckies. Daddy's up. Well, he's actually been up for hours. I've been up since four. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, he's only just woken up. Daddy's joined the vlog, basically. <laughs> he's just awake. No trousers. Just watching trolls. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> Guys, it's raining. I actually don't even mind. I'm having such a great time with my husband and my baby that it does not, that nothing can faze me. Do you think he's tired? Look at him. <laughs> Is he tired already? <laughs> he's up at four. No, he got up at five, did he? 4.30. 4.30, I was up at four. So I got up early because I woke up at four o'clock and I thought, oh my God, Carly's results will be in right now. Oh my God, he's tickling under my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> tickling. <laughs> he's such a toucher, isn't he? He touches my arms, he touches my face. And so Kylie's results were in, and so I was like, I need to go and check my phone because my phone was downstairs. So I went downstairs and I was like, eek. First thing I did was check the results, and they are great. Yeah, they're good. So they're probably where they should have been two days ago. Yeah. But it's like. I think the embryo might have got stuck a little bit later than what they would, would have expected. Yeah. Um, stuck to the lining. So and they it's did now say over a thousand, which when, is great. When she did like explain the different kind of the, the ways it works, she did say some embryos are slower in kind of attaching or whatever. Attaching, so yes. The reality is like the more I think about it, like, I actually had a thought this morning, it's like, oh sugar, two kids, like and not not that I don't want two kids, but like the reality's gonna sink more and more and more in as it as, as it goes. I can't wait to have them both here cuddling me. Rio definitely is much more of a toucher than I think the next baby will be. Yeah he's like that. He'll, he'll, All he wants to do is just like touch you. He'll be like he'll she sorry. They will be probably a bit more independent. He's quite, he's going through a bit of an attachment thing at the minute. Bit of, um, what's it called? Stop touching me. He's tired. I know that's why he's doing it. He's, he's like, oh, he loves oh, you. Oh, he loves you I so don't mind much. touching that, it's when it's under your armpit and it's like a tickle. <laughs> and I'm trying to hold the camera still. No, the worst is up your nose. Oh God, when he puts his little finger up your nose, I can't bear it. But look how cute he is. Do you want a baby sibling? Yeah! Got this feeling in my body. We're lying in bed today this morning, all three of us. It's like, oh, it's not a nice family. But Although it's not a family without Dolly. I know, I wish we could bring her too. She'd but... love it right now. So the plan for today was to go and see the Hollywood sign and do all things outdoorsy. And it's so, raining. So we've actually got a spray tan booked. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want to go get my hair cut. I want to go work out. Well, I'd like to work out. Why don't we do a class, swap over? Okay, do a class and do some stuff indoors. 
which is totally fine. I know, what do you do it's in nice, LA when it rains? It's nice to be out, I think. Oh, it's nice to just be in a different environment. I just like being in a, like a condo. We can also go for a bike ride. Okay. That'd be nice. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Let's get dressed though, because we look... Yeah. Dying. Dying. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, vlog update. Rio's just woken up from his nap and is up to mischief. Looking for keys, looking for everything that he can... <laughs> Have you got the keys? <laughs> that face. <laughs> It's just brilliant. So I went out to go and get cash because we're about to get a spray tan and I got so drenched. Like I haven't got that drenched living in the UK. I'm like, LA, what is going on with this weather? This is so bizarre. Like every year that we normally come here, it's like beautifully sunshine in January and we wear shorts. It's really dense, heavy rain. So right now I'm going to Google what to do in LA when it rains. Who knows? with a baby. So what we've decided to do is get a spray tan so we confuse everyone and then everyone thinks, oh my God, they've had the nicest holiday ever. They've been in the sun the whole time. Hee <laughs> hee. Also, there's nothing better than being brown. It's the best. So spray tan, then should we go for a coffee? Yeah, we like the air cafe in Hollywood. Oh. We can go there when we We love back. the Gratitude Cafe. We can go, uh, we can go An there Earth cafe. next time. Because we're coming back to LA, aren't we? I'm back to LA. It's a long way, it's a long way to go for a coffee. Guys, it's 12 a.m. midday. It is 12.28. 12.28. We still haven't left the apartment. We've had spray tans, we look lovely in brown for Hawaii. Spray on Hawaii. I've never been in this position in LA, I have to stay in. We can't basically go out because we'll wash our tans off. And already, I've already been licked by Rio, so my tans are already part coming off. Stuart's pushing around in the pram. He's waiting for his dinner. Definitely to bring a high chair, it's a hard thing when you travel, you don't have all your stuff. It's this little bit is annoying, but once we're brown, we can go and have a shower and then walk somewhere to go and get dinner. Yeah, and go for a bike ride. Do a bike ride. That sounds fun. <laughs> I ordered chips and I got chips. And we wanted, you got crisps. You I wanted chips. fries for him. Are you enjoying that, Rio? Delicious. I just love popcorn so much. I'm going to myself eating popcorn. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. One more bag. Where have you been, Francis? I've been shopping. Have you I, I wanted to do it before Stuart got here. He literally got here, I was in pain. I was walking down the road thinking that you were going to be in a coffee shop. And I was shocked to see you in a, sh in a shop buying clothes. I'm like, that's yeah. so unlike you. I just thought to myself, you've been buying loads of treats to yourself. So I I'm going to go and buy a little treat You deserve, myself. you definitely deserve. I don't want to interrupt the recording. Uh, no, that's all right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. You left your card. You forgot how to shop. Oh my God, it is so wet. It's so wet. It was like this this morning. Let's get under here. <laughs> Hello my darlings. First activity of the day, we are going to rent bikes. And I've actually just bought this hat. I can't believe I've just bought like a, a warm hat. Oh my god, Tanda. Going to rent bikes. As I was saying, I've just bought this hat and I can't believe I bought a hat in LA because it's normally boiling here, but it's not that warm right now. So this hat works really well. We have just rented bikes. <laughs> this is We're so exciting. This is Rhea's first experience on a bike. He wasn't happy about the helmet going on, but you look he so is going cool. to absolutely Oh my love god, Rio! <laughs> I can't cope. This is like one of those like key family moments. It is so <laughs> I am excited.
my darlings, what an absolute boring day that this has been. <laughs> I'll with... tell you what we've worked out. Basically, you can't keep a baby inside too long with no toys. It's... They just go bored. Basically, it's been a disaster of a day. It's not been a disaster. It, compared we had a spray tan. We've had a spray tan. So we had a spray tan. So we, we pretend that we're nice and brown and we've been in the sun. We fly to Honolulu tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we cannot wait to show you all yeah. that there is on offer in Honolulu. Because it's going to be beautiful sunshine Honolulu. We were going to make LA one vlog, but... We haven't really done much. So. so you get to see us travel now. <laughs> That's going to be really exciting. Gonna take, I'll, give you, I'll give you tips of the plane and what to do. We've got a six hour flight with Rio. He is such a ledge. Really, when you think about it, all the things we put him through well, in terms no, of flying and traveling. He's not under the weather, but he's definitely he's getting not, better. He's not under the weather now. No, he's fine now. He was like into everything today. He Francis couldn't keep up with oh him. He God. was like oh. in the next thing, into the next thing, into the next thing. And Francis was just like running around after him, tidying was, up after him. If I was him. not picking up crumbs, I was wiping up wee. Then I was trying to get him out of the bin. And then I was trying to get him out of the fridge. And then I was trying to get him out of the dishwasher. And then the cupboard. And then the pots and the pans. Honestly, it's never ending. I just like, I just like leave him to it. <laughs> Whatever he wants to do, leave him to it. But yeah, it's not when he's sucking dirty. <laughs> it's just so annoying it's so yucky um, but yeah so today I don't know if you've had any fun watching this vlog from, from this moment but we're going to take you tomorrow show you a little bit of our travel show you arriving at our hotel we will show you, show you some sunshine so show you some sunshine and we'll be much That's happier that. show you some sunshine show you some sunshine honey um, but right over. This tan keeps developing. <laughs> I know, we are developing. I feel she said, so brown. She said during the tan today, she's like, just so you know, like when you wash it off, it'll take the top coat off and then it will keep developing. And I was like, yeah, right. I washed it off. I was like, oh my God, I'm I was like, brown. he is, you are pasty, you are not, Francis. I'm not brown. I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just get another tan whilst we're in Maui. Hawaii, sorry. And then... You came to meet me an hour later when I was like, with really Babe, right. you've developed. <laughs> you, you're going really bad. You have developed. <laughs> you're getting brown now. <laughs> she didn't know. Francis is watching Emily in Paris. Oh my God, I love it. I don't know why. It's such bad acting, but I really like it. It's not a bit like Sex and City. Okay, bye. Bye. I looked at the temperature in London this morning and it said it's 13 degrees. And in LA, it's 13 degrees <laughs> and raining. So London's actually nicer weather than it is in LA. So we are out of here. Get us to Hawaii ASAP. Rio's woken up a little bit grisly, so we'll see how we do. But I think a bit of sunshine's gonna make us all feel great. Oh, look, there's a ray of sunshine. Hello, my angels. Just to let you know, obviously it's 13 degrees, but it is eight o'clock in the morning. Or what time is it in the morning? Oh, yeah, 7.30. Right. So I don't think it's fair to dis right, LA. Man. Let's go, stuff. Let's go. Here we go. getting here to Honolulu. <laughs> it has been an actual disaster. Should I tell you all what's happened? Should I start? I don't feel my best. It started off with me on the plane going, oh my God, this rear was on my lap eating cheesy crisps. I was like, these are making me feel really sick. 
I start to feel really sick. And then I just need to, like, and Rio just wanted to be on me the whole time. I was like, you need to leave me alone. I feel really sick. And then we landed, and I passed out from the pain of being sick. I, sick. I wasn't even yeah. sick. I passed out. I just could. Oh, just it was scared. actually really scary watching you pass out this time. Should I tell you why? Why? Because you did, like, uh, a really, because you were in pain, like, a really, like, kind of, like, you sat up. You were, you were in the brace position and you sat up and did a really kind of like horrible, oh, horrible God, face. I just never see that so I don't know what it's like. It was, it was your, your lower jaw just got like this and then a little bit of like bile came out of your mouth and I was just like rubbing your back saying, Francis, back in the room, back in the room, I had real on my lap. And obviously that's like, yeah, as much as you are, I know it's, it happens, it freaks me out every time. Like I, I go into kind of like a shaky mode. Mm. And I was like, Francis, back in the room, back in the room. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And it just felt like in those moments, it just feels like ages that you yeah. come back round. I'm so sorry to put you through that. You can't help it. It's just, it's just really not, you know, when you're like, you, you're in one position, mm -hmm. you're holding your baby and you're trying to make sure you don't like hit your head or do anything yeah, yeah, yeah. horrible. So that happened. around me notice? Uh, not really. Like towards the end when everyone was getting off, yes. But I think they just thought you felt sick rather than they no one really saw you pass out because everyone was facing forward, we we're about to land, so everyone was like yeah. getting excited to land. And then basically I had to lie I just felt awful and then we got a taxi here and it took about forty minutes. It should have taken twenty minutes, but we can't even rush out. And I was like, shit, was chatting me through the whole journey and I thought I was going to be fine and then I just puked up everywhere. If that wasn't bad enough, he then, we had a hole in the bag. It was so annoying that so he was being sick and it was going oh, all over no. the taxi. And then the taxi driver was really like, oh no, oh no, no. He was like, you've got to pay extra for this. I was like, absolutely, we'll pay extra. He was like, you've got to pay at least a hundred. I said, listen, I'll give you two. <laughs> just stop panicking. Let, let's just focus on making sure that France is all right. So I actually paid £267 for a 20 minute taxi ride. <laughs> I just, I just, what I hated in that situation is that he's like, <sighs> like really like making you feel Yeah, and horrible. the thing is, when you're sick and you're ill, like you feel like an absolute, you just feel awful and there's nothing I could have done to stop it. Do you know what I mean? It's no. just like, Anyway, so then there's that. We arrived at the hotel and I had to go to bed. I've been sick a few times. So shirts goes out with Rio. They have a lovely evening. It was so nice. nice. It's beautiful here. I didn't get to see any of it yet because I've been just, just like in bed. It's beautiful. I've been out this morning a little bit and I've distracted Rio with some Chris. <laughs> they seem to be doing the trick for a minute. But then somebody else was sick. Then I came home. I didn't eat anything. I fed Rio and then came home, put Rio to bed at eight, and I kept him up that late because we are 10 hours behind the UK. So yeah. when he was going to bed was 5.30 in the UK, which is like 8.30 here, that's somewhere along those lines. So that's a massive time jump for him. So put him to bed, rubbed his back, and then got into bed. I was feeling fine in that moment. And then you got up to be sick one more time. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, my belly, my belly, my belly. Rio woke up, I went, put him back, put my hand on him, put him back to sleep, and I was like, that's it. And then the funny thing is, <laughs> the difference between me and Francis being sick is so funny because I am so loud, I can't, it's like my body just goes into like the devil, and I'm just like, <laughs> just literally, I'm like, <laughs> you don't even hear it. You just hear what goes in. I don't need. I don't need I don't to express the noise. Stuart goes. Bah! I don't know how you control yourself. My whole body just goes into. And then I came up the toilet. I was like, Oh my god! It's love that just shows our different characters in life. How we sit. Oh, this is like, how do you parent a baby when you're both ill? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm hoping he didn't get sick. Well, he's eating cheesy crisps. Rio. Rio. So uh, <sighs> anyway, we'll update you later. Hopefully, we'll feel better. 
guys, we've made it out of the room. <laughs> That's a success. It's absolutely stunning here, honestly. It is just like, every time I come to Hawaii, I'm like, I love this place. It's tropical, warm, just like no other place I've ever been to. Here comes away. Ah, yeah, in the sun. That's what dreams are made of. How are you feeling? I'm much better. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel much better. Just, just still, still calm. Yeah. Ouch. So nice to be on the beach. Isn't it, Rio? Rio's not so sure of the sand. Are you? He's having his veggie sticks right now. Um, we're in the shade. I mean, Hawaii is absolutely stunning, so it's hard not to be happy. Just obviously a little bit of a sore stomach, but all is good. Yeah, so nice to be in the sun. Vlog update. If this Living. vlog that you were wanted. <laughs> you wanted inspiration, a vibe, and here we are. This is reality. Stuart is basically still feeling quite weak. I feel semi-weak, but I feel like you're a lot weaker than me right now. Rio thinks it's night time. <laughs> what time is it? 3 3.34. 4.20. So, 4.20. Which is like, to be fair to him, it's like... 2am UK time, so... I mean, we left that a few days ago. But anyway, has not been the most successful day here, first day here. But we'll next week so we are going to have the most epic time in Hawaii because we're going to be feel better tomorrow and we've got three full days, four full days and it's going to be fun and then we go to Maui yeah. which is just stunning so I've seen, our, our best friends were in Hawaii and they were all really ill, remember that? Who? Ben and Nikki, remember they were in Maui so it's just, it's just it's a given when you're a family <laughs> when you're a family <laughs> so anyway, signing out of here. Bye, thank you so much for logging on. I really love you all. Um, and we will see you next week. So high energy, so full of vibe. So high energy, so full of vibe, and so well. <laughs>